stranger. Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. I am at Villa Park, I'm doing a bit of filming with Luke Roper, uh, keep an eye on the Villa Views channel. We're doing a podcast all about the World Cup, talking about England, all of that good stuff. Sunday though here, Sunday at Villa Park was so, so good. One of my favorite games here for such a long time. Villa three, Man United one. If you haven't already checked out that video, please go and do that, it was so, so good. But tonight, Manchester United away in the cup, Carabao Cup, we always seem to get them in the cup without fail. But I'm buzzing for it. Seven and a half thousand Villa fans going up there. Like I said, there we are working with Luke 1977 today, doing a bit of filming. If you do want to go and get yourself some gear over there, please do go and use the code MAX20, including this lovely England inspired kit. They've got another kit, um, another couple of kits over there, England inspired. They're really lovely. Go and use the code MAX20 over there, top link in the description. But I am buzzing to get to Old Trafford. Come on, you Villa boys. Pub in the northwest, here we go, Stonemasons. Let's have it. Hello, hello. Lovely new jumper, by the way. How are we feeling today? Can we go full strength? I'm confident. That's it's the other way that we need to go full strength. I mean, yeah. the Premier League sides are already out. I think it was. There's like nine, like nine left. There's not that many left, mate. Yeah. And we need to win some silverware, so. About time, isn't it? It's our chance, so I'm confident tonight. Yeah. He came to uh, Everton last season, didn't he? I think, what, the 3-0? Um, Dutch lad, loves the Villa. He's got a YouTube channel, Groundhopper FC. You go to so many games, so many derbies. Go and subscribe to his channel. So everyone here is confident. I have to keep the positive vibes yeah, going. Positive. Una Emery effect. I'm so confident in this guy. The new squad is ready for it. I'm gonna go with a 2-1 win at Old Trafford. Ooh, is Away and this. Yeah, you're looking forward to it. Yeah, seven and a half thousand Villa fans. Yes. Up the Villa, son. Up the Villa. In other news, Villa have announced the you badge. Know. Let's know what you think about that. That's Villa the one I voted so for. Like, Don't mind it. Don't mind it. We are trying. Here's an example. <laughs> I believe, I believe this is the normal home end. I think because we've got so many fans, it's all split out tonight. Slightly better pricing than Fulham, £3 for a pint. James has gone for a, a whole meal deal. Not too bad, but £3 a pint. Can't complain, to be fair. Right then, lads, Man United away. Score prediction, mate. What are you thinking? I'm thinking 2 0 Villa. 2 0 Villa, two confident. Nil. We'll get through, yeah, easy. Yeah. Love it, mate. What are you thinking? 2 1. 2 1. Over Villa, lads. Over Villa. Over Villa. Over Villa. Over Villa. Over Villa. Over Villa. You're always confident, you're confident tonight. Yeah, seeing the team, it should be an interesting one, but I'm feeling the cup fever tonight. I reckon we'll win 2 1. We'll grab it late at the end. 3 1, 3 1. 3 1, Villa. 3 1. Love it. Only one pin. 1. I haven't got a clue who's going to get the 2. <laughs> I kind of expect him to go a little bit stronger, but it is still the cup. Full backs worries me a little bit. Augustine Sun coming in, Ashley Younger right back. I've just got a sneaking feeling. We're going to win on penalties. What are we thinking today, Sunshine? I, I expect this to be a little bit stronger than the team, but whatever, the manager we trust, I suppose. So, I don't know, it's just the defence worries me a little bit. Yeah. But I still feel confident though, like, I was going to say like 1 0, but I feel like we might concede with that defence. So, I'm going to go 2 1 in normal time.
it's, it hasn't been brilliant. I think we had a sort of 10 minute spell in the second half where we had a couple of chances, a couple of corners, but nothing serious. I think Man United have had most of the ball, but they're offside and like they haven't really done anything. It's been a quiet game, hasn't it? Yeah, so there's not been, it's not been a great game. There's not a lot in it at all. And I don't think either side have had an actual decent opportunity, nah, really. But I think everyone will be the happy the two managers, though. I mean, coming here and giving up a lot of possession, I think we frustrated that we played a high line and we've caught them offside quite a few times. So, everyone will be the happy the two managers, but not a lot in this one at the moment. Nah. Really. Nah, not at all. It's, it's a quiet game, to be fair. Not too many clear cut chances. I'll tell you what, though, Olsen worries me a little bit. Chambers at the back as well. It's not convincing. Olsen is a little bit of a big worry. Come on, then, you fella, boys. Another cup run ended because of individual mistakes. Going forward, we were good. Leon Bailey 
changed the game. He was unbelievable tonight. Defensively, Olsen, Chambers, Augustinson. Poor, it's not good enough. They shouldn't have been playing anyway. I don't understand why Olsen's got to come in, to be honest. He's just defensively causing issues. And seen him four in one half. Not good enough, mate. Four two loss is what it is. Right then, the morning after the night before, um, very disappointed actually, it's another year without a League Cup, um, another opportunity of a trophy in the bin and I think it was entirely preventable, I mean the first half was an absolute write off, you watch the highlights and there's literally zero highlights from the first half, it was a very very poor first half but like I said in the video, at half time I was happy with 0-0 because -nil, um, I don't think we were great but I don't think there was too many clear cut chances for both teams in that first half. The second half came alight, it did, we obviously took the lead, it's a great finish by Ollie Watkins, so so good. Obviously pleased for him to get a goal as well for his confidence. Um, but just on the whole, defensively last night we were so poor and I get these players haven't played a lot of football and they're potentially a bit rusty but come on, it's like the basics. I mean I'll come on to Olsen but Augustinson, Chambers, they looked extremely rusty and you know what, I can hold my hands up and say fair enough because they haven't played a lot of football but some of the basics and just positional awareness from Augustinson, he was getting caught out a lot. I think he had an absolute stinker yesterday, Augustinson. Come on to Olsen then, he, he should never put on a Villa shirt unless we have no choice ever again. If you have the opportunity between Martinez and Olsen, and obviously Martinez isn't injured, you play Martinez. He's not, he's not going to be knackered, he's a goalkeeper, I don't buy into that. Just Olsen yesterday was absolutely terrible, probably the worst goalkeeping performance I've seen in a Villa shirt. And we used to have Orjan Nyland, you know what I mean? I've seen a lot of crap goalkeepers at Villa, but that last night was terrible. It's just things you don't see on the highlights as well. The amount of times he passed out of play, he passed it to a red shirt, he failed to catch the ball. Even the goals as well, he just never seems to make a save, ever. It's, it's just mad that an international goalkeeper can be that poor. And I was sat not far from Neil Cutler, I'd love to see what he was thinking. It was just a terrible, terrible performance from Olsen and I, I don't want to see him unless Martinez is injured ever again. You know, the goals were very good. I thought Leon Bailey when he came on was absolutely incredible. Changed the game, that pace, he was so, so good and I just think it was annoying I think the full backs potentially cost us last night obviously Dean and Cash ended up coming on but it's annoying it's annoying but there was positives going forward I think it was a good performance I just think defensively it looks very very rusty last night but anyway only one more game now until the World Cup Bryson on Sunday Bryson away looking forward to that one half six coach so that will be an early one but I'm looking forward to it if you have enjoyed this video please do smash a like on it if we can hit a thousand likes that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on Sunday up the villa